Welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. We're on episode four today. Hope you're all having a great day, guys. Got some harvesting to do today. So I'm just leasing the corn and sunflower header for my harvester. Now I've I've sown corn onto field 42. I did that through the night last night. Now that won't be ready to harvest today but because I'm leasing the header I thought maybe I want to get a bit more use out of it than just one field so I've had a look and field 16 has got sunflower ready to harvest on it so I bought field 16 so we're going to go and harvest that I don't think we're going to keep field 16 we're going to sell it back once we have once we've harvested the crop and yeah we'll make well no actually we're not going to make some money on that because what we're going to do is save that sunflower for the pig food because we haven't bought the pigs yet but we do want pigs and we need some flour we need some corn so that's why i've planted corn on field 42. i could go with soya beans or canola instead of the sunflower but it makes sense to use this header whilst i've got it leased so like i said that's what we're going to do i've also got my eye on a couple more fields i forget the numbers but one of them is nearly ready to harvest and that has got oats on it i'm going to sell those oats for a profit then i'll probably sell that field back and buy the one next to it which has got barley growing on it i need that barley because my chickens have got hardly any food left and i haven't got any wheat or barley in storage i haven't got any growing so yeah i need to get some so instead of going through the the planting and looking after the field and everything i'm just going to wait for that field to be ready to harvest i'm going to buy it and obviously harvest the barley and then i'll be able to feed my chickens again i'll probably keep that field once i've finished because i do need a, a few more fields i've only got the the one really I've, I've got another one which is the grass field obviously but i i do want to have more than one arable field so yeah that's what we're looking at today i'm also thinking maybe we could make some money on some loose silage we've got the silage bunker on the farm so we might as well make some use out of that i've bought a loading wagon the the not the forage harvester the the loading wagon where you pick up the the loose grass that you've already cut i bought one of those so i can fill the silage bunker so anyway let's see if we can get all that in today it seems quite a lot quite a lot of harvesting but also the the silage so yeah we'll see what we can get done the new dlc the cavernland and vicon dlc is coming out tomorrow probably today by the time you're watching this actually but as i'm recording it is tomorrow that it's coming out i've been watching a couple of the early access videos and yeah they look really good some of the some of the equipment looks really really useful the the bale wrapper that will put the round bales on the side so they don't run away i've been playing i went back to basics but been playing on felsbrun recently and i've been wrapping round bales and they've just been shooting off down the hill and yeah they, they'll go absolutely anywhere so yeah the bale wrapper on the new dlc that puts the round bales on the side so they don't roll off anywhere that looks really really handy but also the fast baler the one that it will start making a small bale then once it gets to a certain capacity it puts it into another compartment which will then finish the bale off which will then put it into the wrapping area but whilst it's doing all that it starts making another small bale and you don't have to stop and it's just great it's literally a non-stop process and you're just driving all the way down the the wind row that you've made and 
yeah, you, you, you don't have to stop at all like you have to at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that's the only one that you can do that on. So that looks very, very useful. So I can't wait to use that. And the mowers as well that make their own wind rows. At the moment, we've got ones that will make three wind rows together, more or less. And yeah, you still need to get a wind rower to put them in one. But I believe on the Cavernland one, then it will just make one row. You've got the th front rower, you've got the two side mowers. I said front rower then, didn't I? The front mower, the two side mowers, and they'll just make one wind row for you to be able to bail it up really, really easily. So I'm really looking forward to using that. I won't be doing a video on all of that DLC, but I will be using some of the equipment on that on the next video. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, this is the sunflower field, field 16 that I was mentioning. So we'll get this harvested. Then we can sell the field and we'll be able to afford the other field that's got the oats on it. I do like some of these fields, the different shaped fields. If you've got the square fields, it's just too easy to set a worker off and let them get up, get on with the job. I'm as bad as anybody for doing that. You you do a couple of headlands around the field and you just think, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm just going to set a worker off and go off and do something else. But on these fields with different shapes, you've literally got to do the whole thing. And yeah, I, I, I do like it. It's what the game's all about so yeah it's great so we'll get this sunflower off to the farm we're going to put it in to storage and yeah it's down there field 31 yes and it is ready to harvest and the one just above it i think it's field 38 that's the one with the barley on that we're going to buy so i'll sell field 16 here there we go, and now I've got the money to buy field 31. That's the one with the oat, and it's ready to harvest, so we're going to make some money on that. I know what I've just said about using kelpers on square fields all the time, but that's exactly what I'm doing. I realised that if I wanted to get the work done that I need to get done today, I needed to save a bit of time. So just whilst I've been emptying the soya bean so, not soya bean sorry sunflower into the silo the helper here has started doing the oats and i've just realized i've not got him dropping straw swaths he's spreading it out so that's wasting all that straw 
that I could be collecting and maybe I, I was selling it or keeping it for bedding for the pigs or the cows that I'll be getting soon. So yeah, we'll get him doing that. I'm going to be driving up alongside in the tractor with the trailer so we can empty into the trailer without having to stop. As always, a big thank you to the artists that allow us YouTubers to use their music on our videos. I'll be putting the artists and tracks in the description down below. We're just going to do a little bit of vehicle maintenance here. Make sure the harvester and the header are all working perfectly. With the harvester, if it's not in good condition, then as you can see, the bottom right of the screen there it's nearly halfway down with that green bar so yeah it does need some maintenance without it it would harvest less crop so yeah it's well worth doing it and with the header it doesn't actually harvest less crop if it's not in good condition but it will slow the harvester down quite considerably so maybe a job that would take half an hour is then going to take 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And that's, what, 10, 15 minutes that you could be doing a different job and earning some more money. So it's well worth doing. I'll just drop the, hop, the header there and we'll see what that needs. Oh, it looks like it's in perfect condition. Yeah, I'm pressing triangle to repair and it. It's not letting me do anything there. So... Yeah, that was already in perfect condition. So we'll get these washed down, because again, the dirt will make a difference as well. And then I think we'll go and sell the oat that we've just harvested. I think that's going to be the only money we actually make today, because we're keeping the sunflower that I've already harvested. I'm going to be keeping the barley that I'm going to harvest. And yeah, I'm going to be making some loose silage, but I won't be able to sell that until tomorrow when once it's fermented properly. And there we go, looking all nice, shiny and new again. Nice. Okay, let's see the price for the oat where we're looking. It looks like AgriXJS at nearly $2,000 per thousand litres. So that's a reasonable price, so we'll get there. 
That'll be interesting, going somewhere different. We've only been to Hollister stores so far in this Let's Play. Agri XGS is the, the one up by the biogas plant, I think. That's where we're going to head. So we've got nearly 29,000 litres of oat here. We're selling it for just under 2,000 litres per thousand. So we'll be, we'll be somewhere in the 50,000s. And that is really good money for cereal crop. There we go, $57,217. Like I said, that's the only money we're going to make today. But yeah, that's really good. I'm trying to keep the video to a reasonable length today, so I've collected all the straw from f field 30. I've collected it loose in this loading wagon that I'm using here, and I've put it into a silo, keeping that for either making TMR or animal bedding. We'll be using that in the next couple of episodes. I've got a worker cutting the grass. He's giving it the second cut. He's going straight over the original windrows that are made there so I can collect them nice and easily I'm just trying to keep out of his way it's the the helper will just plow straight into me if, if I'm not careful let him get out of the way there and then I'll follow him down yeah so I am going to collect all this loose grass and we're going to make some loose silage
Okay then, this is the last load of grass. I'll be honest, I haven't done a great job of getting it nice and level or anything like that. I've been keeping it compacted with the, the double wheel tractor. So it didn't really matter that it wasn't level because that tractor, it, was, it would just bounce over the, the lumps. But if I wasn't using that tractor, I'd probably be in trouble here. But yeah, really I should have been using a leveller. And that would have gotten a nice level surface for me, but it, it didn't really matter. I wasn't going to fill the the silo at all. I'll just get this part up and finish off compacting the silo so we can blanket it. And tomorrow we should be able to sell all the silage. We'll be taking it up to the biogas plant. See how much money we make there, it should be quite a lot. There we go, now we shouldn't have too much problems. Let's just see. Time is getting on, on the video, so... Ooh, I am getting a little bit stuck there. No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm aware time's getting on on the video and I've still got another field to harvest so that's why I've cut quite a bit of the the grass out here and time's ticking on on the day as well it's what it's nearly 20 to 6 starts getting dark sometime after 7 o'clock so we need to hurry up and get on with that harvesting don't want to be doing too much recording when it's dark. I think we started this morning in the dark, so... Yeah. <laughs> if, if I wanted to fill this silo, it would have been a bit of a terrible job that I've done here, to tell you the truth, looking at that. But, like I said, I, I knew I wasn't going to have anywhere near enough grass to fill it, so it didn't matter, really. I'll have to try doing it on another episode with a leveler and get getting the the silo full maybe but there we go we're at a hundred percent compacted now so we can fill the we can blanket the silo should i say it's just that little bit sticking out there okay okay then we're going to bring in the barley harvest I've sold field 30 which gave me the money to buy field 31 and then yeah I'll be able to feed the chickens again they haven't run out of food completely it's just they, they're getting really low so yeah they, they would have run out by tomorrow at least easily so yeah I'm uh, I'm going to be able to feed them again Looking at the time, I'm not going to be get, getting all this harvest in before it goes dark, so we're going to leave it about there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video today. Have an amazing day.